So yesterday on To The Point, we asked you to share your mental health care story. We asked if any of you have had trouble accessing mental health care. And we did hear from a woman named Chris Sean. She lives in Sacramento and recently she lost her newborn, but she was gracious enough to share her story with us tonight. In May of this year, I was pregnant. I actually had a placenta abruption and had to deliver my baby 13 weeks early. That was hard enough, especially I had just been in labor and delivery two days before. My baby was in the NICU. I had to go there back and forth to visit. And at 13 days old, he passed away. His name is Gina. And that was really hard because it was sudden and out of nowhere. By the time I got to the hospital in Roseville, from South Sacramento, my baby passed away within 15, 20 minutes of us arriving. And so from there is when I decided I needed to talk to somebody because I can't just get through something so traumatic alone. And that's when I finally um, got a referral from my OB to get psychiatric help to talk to the therapist of Kaiser. The triage appointment, I was scheduled to meet with one provider when I was given a call the afternoon and said, I'm just calling to let you know your appointment for tomorrow is canceled because of the strikes and you'll receive a call in the morning about your appointment because we just don't know who'll be at work. I spoke to her and it was fine, we had a connection. My original due date was August 16th, and that day I had received a phone call from pediatrics from Kaiser asking me to schedule a well visit and shots for my baby. And that just triggered me even more because I'm like, I'm, I was on this road to recovery and like learning to live with my grief and what happened and I just keep getting triggered. And I reached out to my psychiatrist and I explained to her what happened. And she called me and we had a conversation, which was great. However, in her follow-up communication, she ended up spelling my baby's name wrong. I just felt like that connection was gone. So I wanted a new psychiatrist or a new referral. In that process, I reached out to the OBGYN and my primary care and I finally talked to psychiatry and got an appointment. They told me that the next available appointment was four to six weeks out. And I was just like, well, what am I supposed to do in the meantime? There's no, there's nothing in the meantime, unless I chose to get an outside referral. I opted to stay within Kaiser because I just didn't want to jump through any more loopholes and back and forth with people. And so I stuck with that initial appointment. However, I currently was in conversation with the ombudsman for other reasons. And I was explaining to her about the psychiatry and how far out it was. And she actually helped me get an appointment within two days by reaching out to someone. And so I have an established provider, but if I didn't have her help, I would have been sitting at home for almost six weeks, just waiting for a phone call. and just coping by myself so it's been a it's been a long road before we move on here i want to say that we've heard from so many of you at home and we know that sharing your stories with us is not easy so i want to say thank you to everyone who's reached out to us and thank you krishan for being brave enough to share your story with me this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. I also wanna mention that Krishan tells me that she has a good connection with her new provider and she has a session at least once every two weeks and feels that it has been a success so far. Her advice for others is to not give up on yourself and do not take no for an answer. If you need to talk to someone, keep calling in. There is a mental health care referral service that is available in Sacramento and Yolo counties. The three numbers that you can dial right now are 211. And this is a free confidential information and referral service that is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week.